Recently, I got a file from a client that had some text values, but parts of the text were bolded and they wanted to extract the bold portion for some data analysis. Now, unfortunately, neither Power Query nor Excel have any built-in options to just get the bold portion of a text. Same goes for colored values or italics or something else. So today I'm going to show you how we can use VBA to extract the bold portion. So here is the thing and this is the function that I developed in VBA. It's called get bold text and all it does is given an input, it will give you the bolded letters into the cell. So for example, here in this quotation, be yourself, everyone else is already taken by Oscar Wilde. It's going to return already taken. And when you drag this formula down, you're going to see all the bolded values here. So how do we create this get bold text function? To create such a function, you can go to the developer ribbon and click on Visual Basic. If you don't see the developer ribbon, it's really simple. Just right click anywhere on the ribbon, customize the ribbon and enable the developer option. Once it is there, go to the Visual Basic Editor VBE and insert a module. We are going to use the keyword function to create a new function and give it a name. I already have get bold text as the function. So I'm going to call this as give bold text. You can't really have any spaces in these function names. So just write it in one word with camel case if needed. And a input parameter for this, this is going to take a cell as an input, just like you have VLOOKUP or some functions that take a range as an input. So from this as range and it needs to return a value and that return value would be a string value, whatever is the bold portion that's going to come up here. So that's it. When you hit enter, VBE is going to write the end function line for you automatically. And now what we want is from this cell, whatever is the input cell. So for example, here I have a get bold text applied on the cell B4. We'll need to read all the characters one at a time and then check for whether the bold style is applied to the font of that character or not. The logic is fairly simple. All we have to do is first see how many characters are there and then loop through them. And as we go through each character, just ask the question, is it bold? If so, keep it aside. And then when you finish the loop, whatever is the bold portion, we just return. So we're going to create some variables to maintain all of this. Uh, you can use the dim keyword to create a variable dim i. This is my loop control variable and then size two variables. Even though it's not required, it's a good idea to give them as integers. So we have two integers, i and size. And size is equal to from this characters count. Next, we can create a variable to hold the output value. So this is, uh, we can define the dim again here, output as string. We'll leave that blank. You don't have to initialize it. And then we'll say for i equal to one to size, next i. So we're going to loop through all the letters, all the characters of the inputs value here. And then we are going to do a check. If from this characters, i the character and then one. So this is how you can access the specific character. So when the first time this loop runs, it's going to give you the very first character. Second time it runs this, it's going to give you the second character because i will be two. And we want one character from there on. So it will just always give you a single character at a time. If that character's font, font style is equal to bold, then, so that means that particular character is a bold character. Then what we want is we want the output to be appended with that. So output is equal to output ampersand that character's caption. Caption would be whatever is the display value basically. And then end if. So as you can see, while this is looping through, the output will basically keep accumulating all the characters that are bold. When we finish this, we want to return the output. So to return, you will simply say give bold text. That's the name of the function is equal to output. 
can save this uh, one note of caution here you can only save vbf code using a file format called xlsm or xls all right let's test this out here we already have this one working so i'm going to use this cell here to test it uh, and you start typing the name of the function you have given give bold text and it will appear in the uh, suggestion option here and then i'm going to say b4 it will come up with that let's drag this down to see whether the outputs would match there you go it kind of gives you what you want and like i said if there is no bold option then you're not going to get anything as you can see it is really simple to create these kind of functions to do things that are otherwise not possible with excel so give it a try and let me know how it goes in the comments and if you do want to learn a bit more VBA, check out my VBA playlist that shows up on the screen. Now, I do have one last test though. So let me try it out because I suspect our function may not work very well. So for this one, I'm going to make some of the text bold and then see how that will be. It works. And that reminds me, if you enjoyed this video so far, give it a like. I'll catch you up there. Bye.